Hello. Well, I thought you could do with a little bit of an update about uh, our film, which is Waving Not Drowning. And we started this earlier on in the year as a response to the response by the mainstream media organisations to what happened on Boxing Day and the few days after it, where basically, if you switched on the TV, um, the army were coming to save us from the looters. And that was kind of it. Now, I appreciate that that uh, everybody in the BBC and ITV and elsewhere did modify their tone and started to, to actually report some truth. But we had a little, see, a little team of citizen videographers went out and, uh, and filmed actually what was going on. Now, we are still going to bring you this film, but what happened was an administrative situation. Um, can't really go into it any more than that. Uh, uh, occurred at the beginning of the summer which meant that we had to stop. We had intended to have it all finished by the Hebden Bridge Arts Festival and release it as part of that but um, uh, not to not to be unfortunately. However, this is the good bit, that administrative situation has now resolved itself uh, and, uh, and we're able to proceed. So now from the middle of September we will be getting great guns we have um, there's a number of things to do. The uh, the final the final edit needs to be done. Um, there is all the subtitling that needs to, to go on, and then the titles and credits, you know, with everybody on it. And of course, there is the soundtrack. Now the soundtrack is being done by Matt Douglas, who was one of the um, one of the people who actually came from just came from Leeds to to volunteer to you know shovel crap out of people's basements and just generally do what was necessary but he's also a very fine musician and um, him and a guy called Sam who is the uh, owner or the, the, the gaffer of underground recording studios here in Hebden Bridge um, got together and uh, they did the soundtrack for that for that second um, the second trailer that we did which was the one that was shown in the picture house and it's on the Waving Not Drowning page if you didn't see it um, but they are going to set the whole film to, to music so we've got a, a number of things that need doing but it will be finished by the end of the year now that the administrative situation has unblocked itself also and this is very very important um, and it's it's flooding very much flooding related you will remember that um, we had different groups from all over the country came up to Hebden Bridge and Mytham Road to uh, and Tomerton to help out um, with that flood response particularly in the first week when contrary to what they claim on their website Collardale Council weren't really in evidence apart from some very very wonderful individuals um, one of these organisations was a Sikh-based charity called Kalsa Aid, and you'll probably know them best for feeding of the 5,000 day after day in Hebden Bridge Town Hall. But um, but they also provided money for sand for sandbags and cleaning equipment and a huge amount of other stuff. And um, there is a guy called I think Hardeep Singh Kohli who you probably may recognize from Channel 4 News, but he's been doing a lot of stand-up and has been uh, very successful, actually, in the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Now, he's coming to the Trades Club here in Hebden Bridge on Sunday, this Sunday, which is the 18th, and he's going to do a show. And all of the money that's raised from that will be going to Calsa Aid. Now, Calsa Aid, actually, we were quite surprised to see coming up um, uh, to, to Hebden Bridge uh, because normally they deal with fairly serious international situations like earthquakes, tsunamis, um, they've been on the TV a, a fair bit over the last sort of tw um, few months with the um, the refugees from Syria arriving on the Greek islands and making sure that they're fed. They're also, they're in Iraq, they're in Syria, so uh, 
it's a really good opportunity for Hebden Bridge and Mylan Wood and the Upper Calder Valley really to give something back to this charity and be thoroughly entertained in the process. So that's this Sunday, uh, normal time in the evening, Hardeep Singh Kohli doing a stand-up session. So hopefully we'll see you there and we'll see you at the film later on in the year. More details to follow on that as we have them. See you later. Thank you.